Hello class, this is a guide video to get to work example two at home here. Okay, and I'm sure that you have this uh, your turn to page. I'm sure you also have launched your auto event 2020. All right, before we begin, as always, let's analyze the draw first. Okay, so let's remove force campus. Okay. Remove the borders, right? So, once you've done, so we you can directly see that most of the items here are in diameter. Okay, it means it's a cylindrical shape. And if you carefully study the graph, the dimension itself, notice that there's an extra component here that is 8 mm of length. So, let's go to trade. So Trace a little bit here, and because it's a rational view, you will the middle here. So this small tongue, I would call it, is still referring to this revolve uh, by 45 degrees here. All right, so the uh, minor secondary features, so we can remove it first. Let's concentrate on the main feature right over here. Uh, to do this question, uh, whether we do extrusion or revolution, please look up for clues of dimensions itself. Uh, it's true that extrusion we can also add dimension 68, but doing so, if you look carefully, the sketch by itself is actually rather complex. We have some shapes here, and they don't have any. Therefore, it's best actually using revolution. Forget about extrusion, just go through the revolution area. All right? So, with that, we draw this feature here as part of revolution shape. So, let's create a new part file. I think the matrix folder, double click on it. Switch all, all the origin plates. So go to the model browser, from left, and the origin folder, expand it first. Click on the Y, then press on the shift key, and click on the swipe. Now we have set all, all three origin planes, and select, and select visibility. Show all the options. Now let's select. And click free sketch. So, so when we do revolution, let's keep it very simple. We'll do the exterior first. Okay. So this will be the profile that we'll do. Afterwards, we will do a secondary cut revolution of the internal profile. Uh, always to simplify the whole process so you don't confuse over many lines you have drawn. Now, click on line, let's do a rough. So, clearly up, let's go horizontally to the right, up further, we go on the sloping side, and we go 20 mm to the right also. Now, let's end all the way down here. And we close it. For revolution, it's always best to change the line of revolution into center line. So this sketch area here, left click once to select it. Go head over to the top right hand corner here and find this symbol, center line. What happened is it will convert the existing line into center line. This will actually tells the inventor that we will use this line as the center of revolution. All right, now let's apply the dimensions. So click on dimension. This line will be 20. Let's zoom up slightly. If 
from this end to this end is 32. Ensure that you are using all the dimensions provided. Do not minus or add your own dimensions. From here to here, 48. The diameter, the big diameter here, the outer one, is actually found on the next view, 80. So click the outer line and then make sure that you have clicked on the center line itself. And now you will see what something will happen. You notice that the dimension is presented as diameter. Let me just escape this still first. I will convert this line back into a normal line and I'll apply the dimension to again. Let's just see how it goes. So click this outer line again, click on this line, that is supposedly your center line. And if you notice, it shows only half of it, which means it's the radius. So please ensure that if it's shown as diameter, you are to dimension it as diameter. Do not half it so that you can yeah, get the radius. So let's undo that portion. Change this back into center line and applying the dimensions. Dimensions again. Here to here, 80. The outer side from here to the center line, it's 38. Here to here, 52. There seems to be an error here. Uh, there's a missing diameter symbol here, but just use it. I mean, just uh, include the diameter symbol there. Uh, with that, we have fully enclosed, uh, fully constrained our profile. Finish your sketch. Let's apply the revolve tool. You see, Inventor will automatically identify the profile plus where is the axis itself. Press, press OK. Now click on this XY plane again to begin another sketch. Okay, press the F7 key to slice it. And now we can click this center axis, project it. At the same time, we can convert this into center line. Something very easy to do. Next, let's click on line. From here, we will draw our remaining shape. If you notice, I didn't draw the hole at the back here. The reason is simple. It's actually M24. It means that it's a threaded hole. Okay. So for a threaded hole, we always, or any other holes, we just use the hole function to create them. So with that, we have really have an enclosure. So let's dimension them. So this here, till the center line, it's actually 32. This line to the center line, it's 58. And this length is actually 15. And let's finish it up with this 28. Yeah, to here. Twenty-eight. Finish your sketch. Apply the revolve tool, and this time, if you notice, auto uh, in inventor have already automatically selected for you all the profiles and axes. But we are actually applying material to it. Okay, by having the join operation, select the cut boolean. To remove material and press OK. With that, we have safely created the main body of the uh, work example number two. So next, let's create the hole here. This hole is actually concentric to the cylindrical feature. So that's your clue. And it starts with this plane. So click on hole. Okay, before you click anything else, Click this as a starting position of the hole and select any circular reference, either here or here. No matter what, it's the same. 
the hole goes through all the way. So let's change the termination to true all. And this time, we the hole type, we will change it to tag hole. Ensure you have changed it to ISO matrix profile. And the size change it to 24. Destination, we just keep it to itself. But uh, as a general knowledge, whatever value that appears first, this is considered the cost track, craft track, cost track. Anything below it actually is considered fine track. Okay. And then let's select full depth because it shows here that the threading goes all the way and press OK. You will be able to see the threading uh, material here to indicate that it's threaded. So it's almost there. Let's apply the chamfer here. Okay, the chamfer here is actually 3 by 45 degrees. So click on chamfer. Okay, and then we just click on this edge, apply the distance to 3, and press Enter. All right, we are almost there. Okay, for this case, uh, there's a few things you can do. You can either sketch the feature here, okay, one of it, and extrude it upwards by 8. All right, and then we mirror that feature downwards along this part. Or you can also just draw a rectangle over here and then revolve by 45 degree symmetry about this plane. So which one is correct? Uh, like I say, always relate back to the dimensions given over here. Okay, so in this case, we have diameter 68. Okay, for these edges here, and the outer here shares with diameter 80, so that's not a, an issue here. And after that, the length is just 8. So in fact, actually both methods will work for this case. You can either extrude or revolve that feature itself. So I will still continue using the revolve tool for the sake of showing it how to be done. So click on X, Y, Z, uh, the X, Y plane, create a new sketch, press the F7 key to slice it to have a better, clearer view of what's inside it. Press rectangle, hover over here until you get a green dot, left click once, and then draw somewhat the shape of this feature here. Now click on dimension, select here, this will be 8. And remember, we need a diameter 68. So, therefore, we need to project the center axis here. Right click, press OK. Left click once more to that projected edge and convert it into a center line. Now, click on dimensions, this edge to the center line, and enter 68 diameter. With that, we have all the sketches fully constrained. So therefore, you finish your sketch, click on the Revolve tool. All right. As usual, Inventor automatically uh, select the profiles and the axis for you. But for this case, the angle will be at 45 degrees. And this will be symmetry about that XY plane. We will be adding material to it. So this is correct. We can press OK. Lastly, we just need to apply the mirror tool about this plane, the XZ plane. So click on mirror, select this feature. Now click on mirror itself and select the XZ plane. Preview it a little while and if it's OK, Press the OK button. Let's study your diagram, making sure that everything is correct. And we are done with your work example number two. Now it's time for you to try out. 